that, uh, put him bucket. in that bucket for me. Put them in the bucket? Yes, ma'am. Yes. We gotta turn around and put them back out. Let me sit. You don't have that big of a butt. Every night I'm going on the grid. I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came, your weight is strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've what is going on YouTube fam? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Adventures with Nicole. I'm so excited guys. My dad has Oshlin today and it, which is great because he hasn't seen her in a few months and he's getting to visit with her and take care of her. I got them all set up but I'm on the road to go tarpon fishing and I'm so excited. I haven't caught tarpon in like a few years and I'm gonna vlog the whole thing for you guys. So I was stopped at a red light. It's green. I'll see you guys out there. Yay! So what's the name of this little town then? So this is Englewood, Florida. Englewood, Florida. How about yeah. you tell me who you are, Cap? I am tell Captain me. Steve with Addicted Outdoors, LLC, uh, down here in Englewood, Florida. Uh, catching tarpon, redfish, snook, trout, anything you want to... If you guys are ever interested in, in the area and you want to book him, I'm going to have all the links in the description below and I'm going to tag him in this video so you guys give him a follow. out here we're fishing Tarpinos? Is that what you just called it? Tarpinos? Tarpinos? Tarpinos. Tarpinos. <laughs> so we're looking for them to roll out there and then we're going to cast to them. So they're just getting ready, keeping their, their crabs in there. All three of y'all got crabs. For the third time. <laughs> Oh, 
They were swimming under the boat. They were swimming under the boat. The thing about carp is you should know. When they're this close to the boat, they're actually kind of finicky. So they don't want to eat the bait. But if we can get about 15 to 20 yards off of them, we should be able to make it happen. I mean, we are working with our lower class. To how, about a, uh, how about a new crab? I need crab. What did your dad say? My dad, he said that the so low pressure mark. has them a uh, lock mouth. Lock jaw, yes. And then they probably, next week, they were probably at the bottom out of the boat. This front has this week thrown off. The front is coming through. Only thing that shuts the fish down is like that, is when the weather. Pretty wild how many there is, because I sent him a video. So. And he is 100% right. These fish are not wanting to eat. They will not stop. They are heading north and south and they, they are. just do not want to stop. Uh, we want the fish to circle up and I call it milling around. They just start doing a circle and start eating and they yeah. would not do that but for maybe 30 minutes today. And I mean, yeah, they're there, they're jumping. They're just like not eating. Time, right? Two, one pod and that was it. That was like 11 pod. I mean, it was... That was like it. 11 o'clock. It was right before twice, we so. went to go get her. Yeah, because I got here at like 11 30, 11 40, I yeah. think. That's when I actually like pulled in. It was so. not a good bite today, but we managed to get clams. And we, had so we did. And we had a great time. We did. We had a great time. It was awesome. Thank you so much. Everybody's sleeping on the boat, so <laughs> we're good. We're going to well, come back. We're going to do this again. We're gonna do this again and we're gonna catch them on next time. Hey, what we're gonna do, we're gonna have them next week when they're about. There we go. Sounds like plan. Right before, guess next what, guys? Week. I head to the Keys. For June. Yeah, I'm heading to the Keys for June.